Okay, I'm gonna make a note. The main note is it's dirty. The sector's actually f***ed up and it's not only three stars, it's actually four. I think I only can paint because of my work. That's what I really believe. I think if uh, JV says, listen, Andreas, you're useless, you're fired, right? <laughs> Just, yeah, you are out. Uh, I don't think that I would say, um, ah, now I'm only gonna paint. I'm not that type of person. I need control in my life. I didn't see myself as a very good cyclist, never, and I still don't see myself in the highest league at all. And I think that's what helps, because I know what it means to lose, right? Quite well I know what it means to lose, so I lost much more than I won in my bike race career. But I also know what it means to be in the game. So uh, from the very first moment when, when I joined pro cycling and I moved to Belgium, I was in the game, right? I, I, I could ride with the best 10 in, from the very first moment. So uh, then after that, you had good years, bad years, but you were in the picture. However, I never won. So I know what it means you know, to lose and I know what it takes to win. Maybe I give them a reality check. Does that make sense? It's okay, it's an idea. Yeah. From there is it's 500 meters. We were visible because there were two or three riders in top 35. What does that mean? While the others were racing flat out, those two or three came from a spot to move to that 35th spot, otherwise you don't get there. And if you have a split second that you're breaking or whatever... Hesitating. You won't, you won't make it. Correct. The guys you see now in the front, they're 100% sure not stronger than any one of you. What can we do better? And today is Thursday, so we still have time. And I'm not talking about training and weightlifting uh, here, right? I'm just talking about, is there a way? After work, I'm looking for like a relief, right? Some people might go for a 10 kilometer run uh, or 80 kilometer cycling ride or, or, or whatever they do. And f for me, cycling, for example, it's never gonna be the same as it has been before, because before you could ride, third, let's say 32 per hour without any effort. So you saw the landscape with 32 per hour all your life. That's just nice, you were just inhaling the landscape and you were just free. If I now go on my bike with the same feeling, I'd probably ride 24, I guess. That's not fun, right? So still I do sport three, four, sometimes five times a week. Running hurts, right? I think it's important to know how cyclists feel because you forget very fast because to speak through the microphone saying move up uh, is very easy. Heads up guys, Alberto or whoever that is, we need help. Quick step goes, Alpecin goes, Visma goes. We have to stay in the game guys, super. Stressful races inside the car because uh, we do a stage race somewhere in, uh, in Switzerland, nice roads. Uh, and just drive from A to B, it's not that stressful uh, other than the last, let's say, 20k. In the Northern Classics, it's from kilometer zero to actually the finish line. Quite stressful. Full flat out for that group. Sometimes it means an adventure in a positive way. Very often disappointment. 
keep on rotating with the others, we still keep on believing. It's only five guys up the road and for sure here and there one will of them will drop out. And once in a while, uh, you know, happy days. So, yeah, Northern Classics, you never know uh, really what you get. Because of my work and the stress, I sometimes have. Come on, Alberto, what you see in front of you, this is the lead, come on. And also the challenges I have there, I'm able to paint. Because painting is for me not a challenge, you know? And I knew I can't work with colors and I also never painted with oil, so I googled if you have to put water to it or I, I don't know. But in the end of the day, I just hammered those uh, oil colors on a piece of wood and, and just made the painting. It's a little bit the opposite from what I'm doing in, 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 in work. Uh, if it looks good or not, or if it's left or right or up and down, it doesn't really matter. Ich habe all die Papiere sowieso noch. Und das ist wirklich interessant zu sehen, wenn er es stoppt. Ja. Da ist er der eine Kopf und drei Nägen, aber da liegt drei Sess. Und drei Sess sind in der Nähe. Ja. Das kann ich. Und dann rennt er wieder bei drei Nägen. Today, I wanted to do a proper recon, as we always do. But inside that recon, it's obviously the knowledge of the, of the pavé, of the roads and so on but also the chats we're gonna have by forehand with what we are trying to achieve. Try to go with the three guys which have to score towards the first pavé. Don't throw yourself overboard like in Flanders, but seeing what you did in Flanders, I basically can just sit in my car and I know it's gonna happen. What do you have? Yeah, I'm good. From now here is only five points that you have links off. En als jij gewoon Lucas stuurt en we kraken daar daarin zoals we willen, dan zit jij daar en dan kom je ook weer in de flow van Kassa en en en. Maar als jij dat niet doet met hem, dan zijn we weer aan het achtervolgen voor 40 kilometer zoals laatste jaar. De laatste kilometer na de eerste strook, dat is een van de lastigste punten exact. voor de komende 20 kilometer. Voilà. Want de eerste stroken komen zodanig rap. En de derde strook, dat is eigenlijk niet echt lachen, de derde strook. Even though he stopped his career in 2.30, I think he still has a really good feeling what it is to be a rider and a cyclist. And yeah, the way he puts that in the group, I think that's, uh, that's one of his strengths. After cycling, I just got in general more open-minded and looked to the left and to the right. Before, I think I just uh, was much too much uh, in a tunnel view and just uh, performance orientated and that that's what i was doing and now i'm still performance orientated uh, when it comes down to material i still do my job when it comes down to direct uh, cyclists and bike races So in the bike race, you guys are not going to go faster. It's just about positioning. In the bike race itself, you will not ride faster than you just did in the recon. In the recon, you just were riding as a group. That means if we get the very first thing right, we're going to be safe for 25K, right? Let's hope we are in the first group. But it's going to be three, four groups of 40 people, especially with the dirt on the first sector. Heads up here. This part after the corner will be headwind. Okay, understand. Understand. We have to get our head into the sector one. Roll the sector two because sector two was much better than one. Race sector three. And if you do it as concentrated as you just did it now, and we get the right position on sector one, then nothing but really nothing can get wrong other than bad luck. Let's do things correct because I have a good feeling. 
yeah? Without that I want to make you guys nervous or something. But it feels different, okay? It was actually a very smooth recon, right? We stopped once, take tire pressure up or out, right? Uh, that's it. Seeing the guys now on the bike, seeing the, the spirit there, seeing how they move, uh, gives me a totally different picture. And that's, that's why I think I'm allowed to say I have a good feeling. I also didn't know. So that's what he explained to me this morning. So this is the good. I personally have the feeling that the DS part is coming so natural. That's actually the part I really fell in love with. But um, I was a very ignorant cyclist. Never thought or discussed material. Wasn't open-minded at all. And I fell in love with this new task and I really see the difference and I see uh, how important it is. And I don't want to say I'm a different person, kind of. It sounds like I just love that part. Let's say technical innovation stuff. What's possible? Where's the limit uh, uh, based on the UCI rules? Uh, uh, and so how far can you go? How, how far can you push it? And I have not an email from Josh. Uh, yeah. For the wind tunnel test, he is so super lucky sein as he mag come and he had more than 50 tests. And it hangs a bit of 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 a of a so. Where is the tipping point from being at a good part uh, uh, or just comfortable? From which moment does it actually break you down a little bit? So these are the things where I'm proper interested in. Uh, because yeah, I think it doesn't come natural and I was the absolute opposite as a cyclist. Uh, and if I was annoying to people and they see this, then sorry, right? Actually, I am sorry, uh, but that's the past, so. The cycling was one part of my life. The cycling as a pro, which made me very happy. I don't want to miss a single second of, 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 of all the things I, I saw and I, I did. But now just running one hour doesn't give me the same, right? Or half an hour. Because I, I, I'm so beaten up afterwards, everywhere pain. You can't compare it with what I did in the past as a cyclist. But painting is something which makes me happy. You just take a brush and you just do totally something different with it. But the end result you feel once it's finished. And to come back to, to what I think I'm trying to say here is, I can't think that something is finished when, 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 uh, when, I, when it comes down to cycling. I have to be sure it's finished. I have to be sure it works. Um, and with painting, it just doesn't matter. Once I personally have the feeling it's finished, it is finished and uh, I think that's where it comes down to. Even if it's not good, I'm happy because I know once it's dry, I'm just gonna paint over as long as I'm happy. Right? Maybe there you have like a parallel uh, to, to my former career as, as a cyclist. You also get this feeling if you have a master plan for a bike race and it really works out. But once that happens, you're not sitting there, or me, I'm not sitting there and just waving my hands into the air and say, oh, right? I'm more introvert and I, I think then I'm getting really silent. And I'm just happy that it finally worked. And then you just move on, right? So, yeah. I don't know if you can say that painting gives me the same as cycling did in the past. It's pretty close, I think. Yeah, klar.